Hi guys, Joe from Prepper in the Woods. And today I want to talk about the Fire Dragon Mini Cooker, which I bought from Born Survivor Supplies. Now, um, I never used this before, never seen it before. Prepper Dell was the one that uh, uh, told me about this. So we're gonna have a look at it now, but also I wanna answer some other questions I had from my past videos about some of the kit I use here. So let's have a look at this and see if we can make some breakfast. Right, so. This is a mountain warehouse one. I think my mum sent it to me from America. I can't remember or I got it in a one of those survival boxes. But um, we're going to have the smooth oatmeal and raspberries today. Um, the spoon set I showed last time, um, which looks nice. I bought that in Aldi um, and it comes with a little case. You just chuck it in your bag and that's quite handy. The question I had about the drink bottle set I used last time. So I believe I bought this off eBay, uh, Amazon or eBay, and it was 18 pounds. If I can find the uh, invoice for it, I'll let you, I'll put it up on the screen, and let you know. But yeah, this you could tell this was heavily used. Um, has the measurements on the inside, nice uh, butterfly handles and stuff, and you have a. This this kind of reminds you of another major brand that I want to mention names of, but who use um, similar stuff. You know, lid has holes on it. You use your fish hooks, uh, fish mouth openers for here. So it does everything you want it to do. And we're going to use that to boil some water today as well. Um, but like a whole set, you know, 18 pounds if it was that. Very good. And I'll, like I said, I'll put it up on the screen when I find it. But now, back to this one. So again, this is the Fire Dragon Mini Cooker. We're all used to seeing these, and that's like the staple um, fuel cooker here. But we're gonna try a little mini one. So it's good, good size. And yeah, that's it, as is. Picture here, it shows Dropping the um, gel cube into it and not leaving it in the plastic. So it's good to look at that. But um, let's mix some water and then we'll get this. I mean, the whole thing fits in there. I guess it's probably more of a pain trying to get back out. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Let's have a go. All right, so I know I'm gonna mess this up at some point or somehow. But it is what it is. Jeez. I hope I don't have the same issue I had last time where you have to mix it up a little bit. But we'll give it a go. But first, I'm gonna wipe my hands on something else because I know I'm gonna burn myself. So pop that in there. Just gonna light it up. It's on. And then I'm just gonna put my stove on. Hopefully get that to a boil. So size-wise, the stove itself, I think it's a really good size. I mean, it's a little bit of overhang. I'm not worried about this thing tipping over. It's not burning my handles. Um, the gel itself is doing its job, but the stove is what we're looking at because that's the part I bought. Um, but it seems, seems pretty solid and compact. Now, while that's cooking, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the notifications because that's not working again. And also check out the description box below. I have um, a Facebook group with Pepper in the Woods, also an Instagram one, which I use a lot. And anything I do beforehand, I usually post on there to get it ready for here. I can hear it starting to boil and the gel is just about running out, which is good because it looks like it's about to rain. Um, I did have a look while this was cooking and I paid 16 pound 20 on eBay. Um, it was like a camp set water bottle cooking that kind of description but there are they are out there so um, worth having a look so that was four pounds off eBay which I think is a good deal because I'd rather carry this than all of that you know 
there. So, but, um, yeah, it's gonna rain. But. So, instructions for my lunch. Carefully add boiling water to the line, 200 ml, that's all right. Hmm. look for those that's how that looks so if you're interested in getting a meal from mountain warehouse and there's a line in there which you fill up to but it looks it actually looks nice doesn't smell like much but you can see how many freeze-dried berries are in there right, I'm hungry line C that's the bottom one that's fine Right, so I'm gonna pull this off and fill this with water to line C. I'm gonna grab a glove because I'm always hurting myself just in case handles are hot. I don't think they are. It's about line C. And that's just in time because that's out. Right, so that's my 10 minutes. Let's see what we got. It's going to need some mixing, I knew that, but not too bad. Right, so I'm going to draw that in a minute. Back to the stove. That's what's left over there. Um, some typical burnt kind of uh, residue. But the stove itself is what we laughed about here, and that held up really well. I mean, the size wise, you know, that's good. It has good all around. So, no, I'm happy with that. I'm definitely going to use this one over that. Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's only like a quarter of the size of it. So, yeah, that's going to be my new fuel stove for that one. And I'm gonna have some of this. Like I said, if you're interested in this kit, it is available on um, out there on Amazon or eBay. Um, really good kit. I've been having it for a couple of years. This is like my spares that I use for shooting videos and stuff. And I want to keep going in and out of my bushcraft bag. But this is very, very much oatmeal-y, like sticky kind of oatmeal. That's really nice. Um, it's kind of like one of those, you know, like the microwave ones you make, like the golden syrup type things. Very nice. Um, so I'm gonna enjoy that now. Come on. Right. So let me know what you think about that in the comment section below. Um, again, that was Born Survivor Supplies. They're on eBay. I'll put a link description box below for you. Um, again, it's really handy. I like it. Um, thanks to Dell for um, showing me these. And I shall use them more often. Thanks guys for watching. Catch next video. Bye. Before I sign off, I was just eating this off camera. It's really nice. Really nice. Probably one of my favorite ones from the, from the moment. Um, I really taste the raspberries in it. Very smooth. It's nice. I've been eating um, some rat packs lately. Some of them, they're all right, they, you know, it's all edible, but this one actually has a nice flavor to it. So, just wanna add that in. If you see these in your camping shop, pick one up. Very nice. All right, that's it, bye.